Hi everyone, welcome back to Old Dubs Investing. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're not, thanks for dropping back in. In this video, we're talking all things cryptocurrency. We're talking, is it alt season? Who would know? What's happening with Ethereum hitting an all time high? Stay tuned. Thanks for dropping back in guys. If you like this content and you wanna see more videos on cryptocurrency investing and of course stock market, please do not forget to like and subscribe and share. Jumping straight in. Having a look at the overall market, as you can see, Ethereum hitting its all-time high, 3,144 at dark green at 8.57% up. Bitcoin still hasn't breached over the 60,000 again, sitting at 58,841. Obviously having a look, altcoins are going very well. Is it alt season? Who knows? On to the next one. Vortec report indicates flips Bitcoin even as rally and polygon surge for alt season. Crypto investors are scratching their heads this week as a key indicator suggests that Bitcoin is about to take center stage once more. Even as Cointelegraph Pro subscribers had opportunity to take more profits on altcoins such as Rally, Polygon, and AMPL. Since Market Pro was launched in January, the alt season analyst indicator has leaned towards heavily towards altcoins. And indeed, the performance of evenly weighted baskets of the top 100 altcoins has strongly outperformed Bitcoin since Market Pro began tracking these metrics on January 3rd. So, if you are just holding Bitcoin, you are 74% up. If you are holding the top 100 altcoins, 432% up. Best performing time-based Vortex strategy, you're sitting 1,843% up. And best performing score based on Vortex strategy, 1,367% return. Where's your return sitting, guys? Let me know in the comments. The old season analyst developed for Market Pro by Data Analyst from firm TIE works similarly to the Vortex score but adds two additional varieties, including press release data from tokens and exchange listing data. It compares current market conditions to those in the past to assess whether the market currently looks more bullish for altcoins or Bitcoin for the next 14 days. The Vortex score includes sentiment analysts, tweet and trading volume and price action as components of the algorithm which are then weighted accordingly to proportional formula based on how similar these are to historical conditions. If there is a similar in these factors, the score will be higher with historical proceeds having more consistent lead to higher prices. Although the alt season analyst indicator has since swung back towards altcoins and Bitcoin market dominance has dropped below 50%, the market may be prepared for a surge in the largest cryptocurrency as investors rotate out of large cap altcoins and back into BTC. However, the swing, the swing towards Bitcoin certainly hasn't deterred crypto investors from seeking out altcoins' rapid profits. Where are you guys sitting? I know I'm not sitting all in Bitcoin. I'm majority in altcoins here, guys, but obviously I still and probably will always hold Bitcoin. Let me know what your thoughts are. On to the next one. Ethereum hits 3,000 for the first time, now larger than Bank of America. Further growth may be a horizon of the world's second largest smart contract platform. Ethereum's token has eclipsed the psychological significant 3,000 per token mark today, rising as high as $3,003. As you can see, it's obviously a bit more than that. On Binance at the time of publication, Ethereum price reached the milestone on several major exchanges, Bybit, Coinbase, and BitMEX. The surges helped Bitcoin overtake institutions such as the Walt Disney Company and Bank of America in terms of market cap. The world's largest smart contract enabled layer one has grown 24% on the week to 346.7 billion per token, per tracking website inflated market cap. Layer has grown 24% on the week to 346.7 billion by market cap. By comparison, Bitcoin is presently sitting at just over a trillion dollar market cap, right below the total market cap 
precious metal silver at 1.416 trillion and above social media company Facebook at 923 billion. The remarkable run up has prompted renewable speculation that Ethereum could flip Bitcoin, overtaking Bitcoin as the largest dip cryptocurrency in the world. Whoa! Multiple headwinds share responsibility for Ethereum's rise. The first is an ongoing surge in activity on the chain, including from institutional entities. Earlier in the week, the European Investment Bank announced it would be using a two-year digital bond worth $121 million in collaboration with banking entities such as Goldman Sachs. Retail interest in DeFi has also been on the rise late with a total lock number reaching astonishing highs of $100 billion. What are your thoughts? Can Ethereum flip BTC? Can it happen? Who knows? Let me know. On to the next one. Bank of England and UK Parliament get Bitcoin fixes this treatment. The, BO, the BOE has recently taken great steps towards rollout of a central bank digital currency. One crypto user in seamlessly taking exemption to current monetary policy from the Bank of England or BOE and expresses their frustration with a laser project. Reported by Twitter Domestic Frisley as a known person projected Bitcoin fixes this and other messages on the exterior walls of Bitcoin and BOE and parliamentary of the United Kingdom on Saturday. The message appears underneath Big Ben as well as front on centre of the big banks surrounding the red box with the artist's hallmark and the photo has been turned into a non-fungible NFT. What do you think guys? Are you buying? Are you selling? What are your thoughts on this? What's England doing? It'd be great for the overall atmosphere and obviously all good for the overall adoption. On to the next one. Welcome back, everyone. If you're liking this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, guys, look, it's free. Just hit the bottom down below. It really helps out the channel. If you're after some free Bitcoin, check out the links in the description to Coinbase and, of course, CoinSpot. And don't forget, if you're after a free stock, please don't forget to use the links to stake. See you next time.